Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Carson Cloud. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through the process of creating a test sequence. It's called a, an in-place upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows 10 machine. <clears throat> so if you have Windows 7 environment and you want to protect your user's data, um, browser settings, uh, any documents that is currently or any application that already installed on Windows 7 and to up to upgrade them to Windows 10 what you need to do is do a in-place upgrade so it's installed operating system over the existing operating system there's no data wipeout there's no profile resets no nothing like that <clears throat> let's get started the first step we're going to do is we're going to create Windows 10 upgrade package Let's go to Configuration Manager Console and go to Software Library. Under Operating System, you want to choose Operating System Upgrade Packages. I'm going to click right click and then add Operating System Upgrade Package. I'm going to deploy 1710. That's the IOS. ISO files I have currently that support my Windows 7 environment. So one thing you need to know um, when you do an in-place upgrade, the architecture must be the same. So if you have, if you have x64 on Windows 7, Windows 10 must be x64 as well. I'm going to paste the link of the um, the network path of all the extracted files paste that here you want to make sure it's x64 and language must be the language that, that you choose to deploy in this case I'm going to choose English another thing might not work if you have if you have Windows 7 that is running English but not English but United Kingdom or English is South Africa, so you want to make sure you choose the right architecture. X64, click next. I'm going to call this Windows 10, 1710, 17.9 Enterprise. I'm going to click next and next. Now I need to distribute it to the, the DP by right click, distribute contents, next, choose the DP, click OK, and click next. <clears throat> Let's go to property of the package again, go to properties, additions, data source so you have to double check make sure it's it's the right architecture and the next step is we're going to create a test sequence create a, uh, an in-place upgrade test sequence so let's go to test sequence I'm going to call this, let's choose upgrade operating system from an upgrade package. We call this in place upgrade from Win 7 to Win 10 YouTube demo. <clears throat> Click next. Upgrade package. You want to make sure you choose. When you choose upgrade test sequence, it's going to give you options for um for the upgrade package only. Click on 1710 Enterprise English. 
So right here, it's very important. If you have enterprise in your environment, you have to choose enterprise. If you have pro, you have to choose pro. I'm going to choose enterprise. Product key, I don't need the product key. It's not required. I'm going to click next. I'm not going to install any updates, any software updates. So leave that, do not just install, click next. I'm not going to install any applications, so I don't have to choose anything here. Click next and next. So that is step two. The third step is we're going to deploy the test sequence. So the test sequence I created here, right click on it and then go to deploy. Go to browse. I'm going to deploy to all clients. Click next. It's going to be available only. It is for testing. So I want, if you are in production, you want to make sure you test it first. Uh, I, I don't recommend to do a require. Require will force the update automatically. So I'm going to do available. Click next and click next and click next again. That's fine. Click next and next. <clears throat> so that is step three. Test four. Um, step four, we're going to test the upgrade. Before we test the upgrade, we want to make sure the, the package is on the DP in the price. As you can see, it is still copying the contents. We want to wait until it's finished. So for now, I'm going to pause the video and once it finish success, I'm going to continue. All right, let's uh, refresh this task here, the package here. As you can see, it is show success. Now we need to go into the test machine, Windows 7 test machine. Here's my Windows 7 test machine, Windows 7 001. Let's go to system and check the architecture. It is Windows 7 Enterprise. And it is 64 bit. So now let's upgrade this computer. <coughs> I'm going to create a, some test um, uh, files, no folder, test, new text file, test. Now let's run it, software center. So here's the test sequence in place upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows 10 YouTube demo. We're going to click on install. Click install. Hopefully it's going to work. Let's look at the content to see if it's downloading. should be under test sequence um, here's the package so it's down here's the package ID it's downloading this package now package ID is 02e let's take a look at the package ID our brain system yep that's it 02e is the package Let's go back to test sequence. I mean the, uh, the Windows 7 machine. Hopefully it's downloading. There it is. It's downloading the bits. <coughs> <coughs> so this uh, um, this upgrade is going to take a while. I would say maybe 30 minutes.
downloading the install.wim It's going to take a while. I'm going to pause the video and uh, we'll come back. All right, look like it is restarting. I'm going to let it restart by itself. As you can see, the Windows 10 icon is coming up. So far, it is working. Working on the updates, 5%. I'm going to pause the video again and we'll continue once it gets close to 100%. The update went by so quick, so I have to resume the video or resume the recording. So it's rebooted after the 27%, now it's at 30%.
all right, 45%. We are at fifty five percent. You know what? I'm just going to pause the video, uh, pause the recording for now. All right, look like it's almost finished. We're at 
98% almost finish. So the process could take up to, I would say maybe 40 minutes. All right, Windows 10 has been upgraded. Now it's going to finish up the test sequence. It's going to take a few more minutes. Now it is installing the configuration manage, uh, the configuration center. I'm sorry, the SCCM client, configuration manager client. It's part of the test sequence. It's going to restart the computer.
as you can see here operation has completed <coughs> successfully <coughs> It's going to take a few more minutes. It's finished, now let's log in. That's it, folks. Let's verify the if the files is there. Um, the file I created before the upgrade, it should. It should save all the files, all the data, everything. It uh, leave it untouched. <clears throat> I'm going to pause the video. It's taking too long. All right, it's finished. Here it is, Windows 10. Let's go to Control Panel. Let's go to System. 
Yep, we understand in the price. And I got the files here that, that I created before the upgrade, the folder and the file. Thank you for watching. And if you like my video, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much. Have a good day.